Hey, my name is Johnny, and I work for Scripture Union, and I'm a trainer at the School of Kidsmen. I'm here with Pastor Christopher from New Life Church in Collingwood. Christopher, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, at the School of Kidsmen, we want to see uh, both um, adults and everyone in the church really be equipped to do children's ministry well, from whether that's just in the home or whether that's in a church. Uh, tell us more why you believe training is so important and needed um, for a church in Canada and abroad. Well, there's so many ways to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Training is just so important, yeah. and especially now, uh, more, more than ever. We, we live in a time when the church is generally no longer trusted. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if people are going to be bringing children, especially, to things that we offer and, and whatnot, then we need to make sure that we're doing everything that we can mm. to keep them safe. Churches should be the safest places on the planet, and mm. unfortunately they haven't always been. Uh, so it's so important for us to make sure that safety measures are in place, that training is in place, that, that anybody that's working with, with kids, whether they're you know 18 or below, uh, that they, they know how to do it in a way that honors God, that honors Christ, and that you know, respects the individual as well. Yeah, you touched on a lot there. I really appreciate that. The idea of trust and relationships, and also the wisdom in knowing how to connect with a variety of different people, um, and doing that in a God-honoring way. Um, so really appreciate your feedback. Christopher, it's, it's very well known that um, when you become a pastor, you're expected to go to seminary, right? And, you're, and that's kind of what's expected, to have that sort of training. Um, it seems that when it comes to kids' ministry, even though Jesus says, hey, this is such a kingdom of God belongs to these, we sometimes scale it back a bit. Would you, would you agree? And if so, what's, what's been missing? I think a lot of the time, churches treat children's ministry more like a babysitting service. Mm. And I know that sounds really crass, and I don't mean to diminish anything yeah. that the church does, but just a lot of parents tend to have that expectation. They bring their kids, they leave yeah. them, and then they do the thing. And it isn't always viewed as an essential piece of, of discipleship. Yeah. Uh, and, and it just it is, right? For the reasons you just described, Jesus says, kids, these, <laughs> these littlest ones, the kingdom belongs to people like this. One of the great verses that often gets quoted when, when dealing with kids, but it's you know, uh, the Shema, right? To you know, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, but then also to uh, talk about these things in every possible posture when yeah. you lie down, when you walk, when you sit, when and, and that idea carries over to the New Testament when we look at parents and their role in mm -hmm. raising, raising kids. So it, it really is an essential part of discipleship. It's not just a program that we run. It's, it's really necessary. Yeah. And what you're saying, uh, just like, it seems like we need training and equipping to flip the script from a babysitting service to truly discipling children. Mm -hmm. And that is what um, I believe would be the direction of the Canadian church going forward will see a generation that follows God with greater passion and love for Him when they've not just been relegated to programs and babysitting, but have truly understood, like you said, what it means to disciple each and every children of every age and cohort well. Um, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. At School of Kids Men, we want to connect children to Jesus and His story. This has been Pastor Christopher with New Life Church in Collingwood.